Right, so let's talk about osmosis. Um, we're going to try to identify the hypotonic, hypertonic or isotonic solutions. So osmosis is the diffusion of a solvent, usually water, we're talking about biological systems like cells, through a semi-permeable membrane. So for instance, an example here, we have a solution with a lower concentration of water, higher concentration of solute within the dialysis tubing, uh, surrounded by the solution with a lower concentration of solute and higher concentration of water in the beaker. So water will be diffusing into the tubing until the concentrations will be equal. The bag will increase in volume due to the higher amount of volume in the bag. Um, so basically the increase of sucrose concentration in the beaker is not due to the movement of sucrose through the um, dialysis tubing but due to the loss of water from the beaker. The terms isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic are used to compare the concentrations. Isotonic solution is a solution that contains same number of solute particles as compared to the solution on the opposite side of the membrane. The hypotonic solution is the solution that contains a lower number of solute particles as compared to the solution on the opposite side of the membrane. And hypertonic solution is the solution that contains higher number of dissolved solute particles as compared to the solution on the opposite side of the membrane. tap water, three different concentrations of glu uh, sucrose, and then we're going to put in the last two samples tap water in the tubing and 20% of sucrose. Now, these bags will go into beakers with different outside content. So first four beakers are going to have only tap water. The last two beakers are going to have sucrose solution. We running short on 60%, so for our experiment, we replaced it with 40% sucrose. So you can basically correct it here. But before before we um, put the, uh, the bags into the beakers, we're going to weigh them. So we're going to weigh them before, and then we're going to weigh them 30 minutes after exposure to the solution. Okay, And then we're going to determine the change in weight and whether the solution in the beaker is isotonic, hypertonic, or hypotonic. So this is the setup that we have. So we have six beakers, as you can see. There's four with water, there's two with the sucrose. And we have graduated cylinders with water, 20% sucrose, 40% sucrose, 60% sucrose, and some water again. Okay. I'm going to add 20% sucrose in the last bag, just using, using that graduated cylinder. Um, so we have tubing, so I'm going to be making, um, you know, four new bags, scaling them. I'm going to show you how I'm doing that, but I'm not going to show for each of the six bags. So I'm going to start with number one. in the bag. Opening the top.
to get back. Scaling 27.67. That's number one. Try to remove as much air as possible so it doesn't float, but if there's some air, it's not a big deal. Okay, let's wait and see it. First, water. Okay, you can see I'm using the fennel. Measure twenty percent sucrose. So that's twenty percent sucrose here. We're going to need it for this one. Sealing one end. 
since the concentration of sucrose progressively increases, I can use the same funnel. Opening it up. in twenty percent done good Top is sealed, so that's our okay. Wait, we need to scale it. Put it to two. We have two more to go. ceiling And that's it. Now we're going to wait for 30 minutes.